What time is it? Three o'clock. We don't have the Howdy Doody show for two more hours. What is this? There's a here. Let me turn this thing off. Oh. What are you people doing? Wake up. You're on the air. It's howdy duty time for Mr. NBC. It's not howdy duty time, it's only three o'clock. <laughs> well, what do you think of that? Well, look at howdy duty sleeping here. Atta boy, fella. You just stay sleeping, little guy. I'll go back and catch up on my nap. You just stay sleeping there, howdy. I'll, I'll wake you up. Don't you worry about a thing. Now, who would call us at 3 o'clock and wake us up? Yes, Mr. NBC, this is Bob Smith. You what? What? It's just a few minutes after three. I know what time it is, yes. You say it's been howdy duty time for, for five minutes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is. Well, all right, Mr. N... Yes, Mr. NB... Yes, Mr. NBC. Yeah, and I... He hung up. Wake up, howdy doody. Hey, little fella. Wake up, howdy doody. Oh, don't bother me, Mr. Smith. It's, it's only about three o'clock. Now, howdy doody, look, get up. This was Mr. NBC. He just called on the telephone and he said, get up, Mr. Smith. He says, get up, howdy doody. It's, it's at least five minutes after howdy doody time. Oh, Mr. Smith. I, why, you're right, Mr. Smith. Well, look, all the kids are in the peanut gallery. Well, that's right. Hello, kids. I was so sleepy I didn't even notice you. Have you been here long? Yeah. Well, I'm awfully sorry. The clock says three o'clock. How do you think Clarabelle that's? Clarabelle did it. Clarabelle. 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 And there's Clarabelle. Shh. Now look. Let's not wake up Clarabelle. Howdy, Judy. Howdy, Judy. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Smith. I, I don't know how, I, how I'm sleeping so much. Well, now, look. Don't worry about it then. But Clarabelle is up there sleeping in the cage. I'll bet you Clarabelle... Remember yesterday, kids? Remember when Clarabelle turned the clock yeah. 30 minutes ahead? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. 
Are you watching? Yeah. 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 Look, I'll tell you what, I'll bet you Clarabelle did. I'll bet you that today he turned the clock back a couple hours just so that he'd probably sleep through the show and wouldn't have to do another show. So I think we ought to plan some kind of a surprise and fool Clarabelle. What do you say? What do you say? Now look, Holly Duty, the kids all say that we should play some kind of a surprise on Clarabelle. Now what do you think we better do? Well, I'll tell you what, let's do, Miss G. Smith. Now, now let's suppose that, that we go over to the flap doodle and, and and we'll ask the flap doodle for for some special kind of trick and 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 maybe it'll help us to to wake up Clarabelle with a with a big surprise because she tried to fool us and and now let's us try to fool him, okay? You ask the flat doodle for, well, do you have anything in mind, Howdy Doody? I mean, what, uh, what are you going to ask the flat doodle for, do you know? Well, I, I got a little trick here, Miss T. Smith, that, that I'm going to try, okay? All right, you go ahead, talk right to the flat doodle there. Okay. Now, Mr. Flap Doodle, well, Mr. Flap Doodle, please let me have a, a, some kind of a surprise, especially for Clarabelle. Okay, wind the motor, Miss T. Smith. Okay, Howdy. <laughs> This is a newspaper boy's cap, I think. What does the paper say? Oh, look at this. Kids, look at this title here. It says, Clarabelle arrested playing with clocks. That's it, Howdy Doody. Is this part of your surprise? Well, now, what we ought to do, Mr. Smith, let's pretend that, that you and I are, are selling newspapers and, and that they say that Clarabelle's arrested and... And then Clarabelle will wake up and get all frightened, okay? All right, you pretend you're selling newspapers now, and I will too. Extra! Extra! Extra paper! Extra, read all about, read about it. it! Clarabelle arrested for playing with clocks! Clarabelle arrested for playing with clocks! Get your paper! Extra! 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 Get your Clarabelle paper Clarabelle arrested for extra playing paper. with clocks! Extra! Extra! extra. extra. Right morning, off the press again, morning, morning. Clarabelle arrested morning. for playing extra. with clocks! Clarabelle read all about it! it. Extra! extra. Extra paper! Extra paper! Clarabelle arrested! Clarabelle arrested! Clarabelle! Hello, Clarabelle. Clarabelle, we've got a little surprise for you. Yeah. Come on down here, Clarabelle, would you please? That's the way. Come on, I'll help you. Nothing to worry about now. That's the way. That's the way. That's the way, Clarabelle. No, now, no Rocky now. Come on. Come on. That's the way. Clarabelle, we've got a little surprise for you. Just thought you might want to see the newspaper. Clarabelle's tired. Clarabelle, look, look what it says here. Come on, that's a boy. Look at the headline. Clarabelle arrested playing with clocks. Clarabelle arrested playing with clocks. Ha, 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 ha! How do you like that? Go tell me. All right, now look, I'll tell you what I'll do. Now look, now, 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 now look, now wait, now wait, now wait a minute, Clarabelle, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, I thought of a little system here, now wait. Now you remember, Clarabelle, yesterday, you remember yesterday when you turned the clock ahead 30 minutes so that you thought you could get out of a show? Today, did you turn it back two hours and a half so you wouldn't have to do a show? You did. All right, well now look, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Howdy Doody and I were talking it over, and we've decided that we're going to start a new system. Now, every time you play one of your tricks on us, you're going to get tickled. Because you know every time either Howdy Doody or I call you a girl, you tickle us. Is that right? So, whenever you play a trick on us, now if it's just a little trick, you get one tickle. If it's a, a bad trick, you get two or even three or even four tickles. Is that okay with you? 
All right, Howdy, what do you think we ought to do about this trick? What do you think the, the sentence ought to be? Well, I'll tell you what we'll do, Mr. Smith. This is, this is kind of a bad trick. I'd say this is a... Oh, I'd say this is about a... Oh, about a three-tickle trick. A three-tickle trick. Do you think it's about a three-tickle trick, kids? Yeah! Can, can, can you say that, little girl? You stand up here just a minute. What's your name? Beverly. Beverly. Can you say it's a three-tickle trick? Yeah. Say it. She did say it. How about this little girl here? What's, what's your first name? All right, you, you say it's a three-tickle trick. All right, okay, kids. Well, now, Clarabelle, are you sure that's all right with you? A three-tickle trick. Now, watch, kids. Here we go. Kids, you can see it to go. All right, come on, Clarabelle. Friends? Friends? All right, we're friends. A three-tickle trick. No more fooling. Howdy, are you sure everything's all right now, Howdy Doody? Well, I guess, Mr. Smith, if, if the boys and girls aren't, well, if they're not unhappy that we were sleeping, maybe when they came in. No, I, I, I think it's all right, but Clarabelle, where is that paper? Where is that paper? I want to see that. Who has that newspaper? It's up on the... Where do we have it, Clarabelle? It's Clarabelle arrested. Now, that was our little trick on you. Did you like that? What? What do you mean? What does Clarabelle mean, kids, you know? I mean, where did we get it? Oh, where did we get the newspaper? Well, a little trick that Howdy played. Howdy got the newspaper out of the flap doodle. See? Howdy went over and he says, uh, flap doodle, I want a newspaper, and the flap doodle gave him the newspaper. What's the matter? You don't believe it? Yes, he did. He went over to... Well, don't make fun. You can't get anything out of the flap doodle. Well, you cannot. You can't talk. You have to talk into the microphone. What do you mean? You mean you could get a newspaper out of the flap doodle? You could not. You have to talk into the microphone, don't you see? Howdy Doody always talks. You can't talk. You couldn't get a thing out of the flap. Clarabelle says maybe he can. Well, he won't be able to get anything out. Now, you just watch, kids. Clarabelle, first place you can't talk. You have to talk to get things out of the flap doodle. Ha-ha, <laughs> yeah, you think you're going to get something out of there, don't you? Maybe he'll get a horn out of it, huh? You won't get anything out of it. You won't get anything out of it. Ah, nothing will come out. I know nothing will come out because... Uh... Well, look what Clarabelle has. A little bunny. Well, it's a real live... Oh, please let me see it, Clarabelle. Isn't that a cute one? Howdy doody, will you look at this little bunny? How do you like him? Oh, Clarabelle, you're wonderful. Well, well how did you get the bunny, Clarabelle? Come here, Howdy doody. Look, come on, you, you, you get down here with him, Howdy. Because this is an awfully cute little guy. You, you play with him. That's it. You play with him. Come on. Oh, hello, little fella. Well, hello, little fella. Hold him, Mr. Smith. Hold him. Okay, come on. Come on back here, bunny. Come on, now. This is your new boyfriend. This is Howdy Doody. Come on, say hello to him. That's the way. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest bunny you ever saw, kids? Yeah. Oh, and Howdy likes him. Uh, hello, little bunny. What's your name, little bunny? Hello. There's someone at the door, Clarabelle. Would you see who that is there, please? Well, isn't this cute? I wonder where this bunny came from. Well, look, kids. It's our good friend, Betty. Hiya, Betty Bag. Good hello, to see you. Kids, do you remember Betty? This is the lady who brought us all those wonderful goats just a little while ago. And, uh, Betty, uh, whom do we have here? This is Gwen Waterbury. She's my neighbor. Well, hello, Gwen Waterbury. Hello. I thought... And, and, did, did, you, uh, did you help Clarabelle, Betty, uh, to, to bring these rabbits here? It was that first rabbit that, uh, that you uh, That's right. gave now, Clarabelle one of yours? This fellow here is called Howdy. This is Howdy. That's Howdy. 
This is duty. Oh, for heaven's sakes, duty. <laughs> this is Clara. Little Clara. And this is Belle, the mama. The big mommy. And isn't she a nice, big, funny howdy? Why don't you get down and say hello to her? Well, hello, little Belle. And, and these are all of Belle's little children. Is that right, Betty? That's right. They're the babies. Oh. And, Bob, would you like to know the story about this rabbit? Well, I certainly would, because they, they seem so different from ordinary rabbits. They're, the fur is so soft, and at the same time, it's so full. That's right. Now, there was a farmer in France, mm -hmm. a poor farmer, mm -hmm. and he just had the regular common rabbit mm -hmm. that we see in the field. That's right. And uh, he prayed for something nice to happen to him, something unusual, because he was just a poor farmer. Mm -hmm. And one day, he went out in his rabbitry and he found one of these beautiful little babies in a litter. Mm -hmm. And he looked at it and he got so excited, he took it to the priest. Mm -hmm. And the priest knew a lot about rabbits, but he had never seen one like this before. Mm -hmm. So he told the farmer to wait until the next batch, next litter arrived, and mm -hmm. maybe there'd be another one. Mm -hmm. And there was. And from that, from the two rabbits, this wonderful rabbit originated. And they called it the Chin Rex. The Chin Rex. And it's the king of rabbits. Well, aren't they terrific? Betty, I just love them. Howdy Doody, what do you think of Betty to come here and, and bring all these little rabbits to see you? Oh, you know, I love animals, Mr. Smith. And, and ask, ask Betty why the, why the rabbits always stay way down like that. Well, well, why do they always huddle down, Betty? Any reason well, for that? Well, you see, they're down flat like this now. They think they're under a bush. Oh, I see. And well, they, we... they think they're protected. They're hiding. We won't tell them that they're not under no, a bush. No. We'll, 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 we'll let them keep thinking they're under a bush. Okay, kids? And this is Mama Belle. And this that's is right. little Clara. That's Isn't that right. cute, Clara Belle? This is Clara, and that's Belle. And this is Howdy, and that's Duty. Well, I think these are awfully, awfully nice. Kids, how would you all like about the... What would we start him with? One? Oh, no, mm -hmm. two. You have to have a, yeah, a little pair there, don't pair. you? That's Why, right. sure. Well, I think they're just great, Betty. And uh, what did Clarabelle say? Clarabelle had some kind of a other surprise out there? Does, does Clarabelle have some kind of a surprise? Well, I can watch there? them so they don't come off the table. All right. Go ahead. I'll, we'll, we'll watch them, won't we, Quinn? Yes. Now, do you remember their names? Which one is this one? That's Belle. That's Belle, and this is? Clara. Clara. Mm -hmm. Howdy. Howdy. Duty. And little duty, okay. And uh, come on in, Betty. What do, what do we have here? We have something very, very special. Oh, well, great. Gwen, can you watch this? You watch these rabbits. Now, Bob. Shh. Now, kids, uh, Mrs. Bag will tell you the story here. Yes, Betty. In here, I have a nest of babies. Listen now, boys and girls, nice and quiet. They're only a week old. In fact, they're only five days old. Five days old. And the mother gathers all this straw. Uh-huh. And then she puts the fur on top of the baby. You can see the fur here. Isn't now, if we look carefully, we'll see the babies. Can you see them, Can you kids? see the babies? Yeah. Well, we'll show them to you. We'll show them to you in just a moment. And because we have to show the little children at home first. And I, I notice, Betty, you're using that pencil. Why are you doing that? Well, I mustn't touch them with my hand, because when we take them home, we want to be sure that the mother will own them again. Oh. Because I've touched those bunnies there, and if I touch these, why, then she won't take them again. She'll think they belong to her. Oh, I see. In other words, uh, you, you don't dare disturb them in any way by no, touching them with your own No, we mustn't person. touch them, because we want the mother to take them back. But I thought it would be a very special treat for the children to see the little tiny bunny still in the nest. Well, not only for the, for the little kitties, but it's a big treat for me, too, Betty. <laughs> This is really wonderful. I I, uh, I hope all the boys and girls can see them. They're no bigger than a oh, little, a very small sized squirrel, aren't they? They're like little kittens. Look at that little fella poking his head <laughs> out there. Isn't that cute? Well, Betty, thank you so very, very much for being with us. I think that's just great. And these little babies will be all right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We've been very careful with them. And they'll go back to Mother now. As soon back as they to go... the farm. Oh, that's great. Isn't that cute? What are you doing there, Howdy Doody? Oh, I, I kind of like this, this bell, Mr. Smith. She's just wonderful. Well, <laughs> well, Betty would love to have you here for a long time, but I, I realize it's a little bit warm for them. I notice they're huddling again, aren't what, they? What is this, Bob? What is, I didn't see that. That wasn't, uh, Say, did, that special? Did you notice this note on here, Clarabelle? Well, this is a note that's on the... Could I look at it, please? Yeah. Oh, I can't understand that. A note on the rabbit? Is there any magic rabbit, Betty, that you know about? 
Well, no, but I think that maybe Howdy Doody had something to do with that. Well, it says, I am a little rabbit. Howdy Doody is very big. How about getting Howdy Doody down to my size? Howdy, what do you think? Which rabbit is that? That was Clara. That was Clara. Howdy, <laughs> Clary thinks that you're too big. What do we better do? Well, I don't know, Mr. Smith, but I'll tell you what we could do, Mr. Smith. We, we've got a little or Howdy you Doody in the, in the cage if you'd like to bring him out, and, and maybe you can sell him to little Clara, would you? Say, that's a good idea. We do have a little Howdy Doody right here. One of our little Howdy Doody hand puppets. Thank you very much, Betty, and thank you, little Bye. Gwen, and good luck to our little bunnies. Here, let's let's take the little Howdy Doody and let's show him to to little Clara. What do you say? Now, Clara, come over here, Clara. Clara, this is little Howdy Doody. Well, don't you have anything to say to each other? Come on, you can talk if you want to. <laughs> I think little Clara likes that better, Howdy Doody. Here you are. You take Clara out now, if you will, please, Clara Bell. And you take her back with her mommy, okay? And meantime, uh, I, I wonder how many of you kids uh, would like a littler Howdy Doody instead of a, a, a bigger Howdy Doody for your own. How about this little fella right here? Now, look, you come up here. I want to try something. Do you think you could work this little guy? What is your name? Joseph. Your name is Joseph. All right, Joe, I want you to hold your hand out, if you will. You're right-handed, aren't you? Oh, you're left-handed? All right. Now, now, you put your, uh, your, your middle finger there right in Howdy's head, and then you put your little finger in his left arm and your thumb in his right arm, and now you're all set to work him. Now, look, here, why, why don't you pretend that you're talking to Howdy Doody? Now, go ahead. Uh, suppose I talk to Howdy Doody, and you, you'll be Howdy Doody. Now, go ahead. Hi, Howdy Doody. Hello. Well, you gotta say uh, hello like Howdy does. Try it. Hello. That's the way you work his mouth when you say it. Now, let's go. Hello there, little Howdy Doody. Hello. How are you, little Howdy Doody? Fine. Atta boy. Howdy, do you like to sing? Yes. Do you like school? No. You don't like school? Why don't you like school? I don't know. Well, what's your teacher's name? Halkin. Miss Halkin? Yes. And uh, do you like her? A little bit. Well, you should like your teachers a lot. You will, you know, when you get older, you'll really appreciate the wonderful work that they do. So come on, you, you get on better with teacher, will you, little fella? Yeah. Okay, howdy doody. You learn your lessons? Okay. Atta boy, all right. Well, thank you very much for coming up here and uh, for doing that and for showing our littler bunny, uh, what was her name, Clara? For showing little Clara the littler howdy doody. You can take that one home with you, okay? Yeah. All right, little fella, thank you very much. Well, Clara Bell, wasn't that a lovely surprise? Howdy, what do you think we ought to do for, uh, for Mrs. Bag and, and for Gwen and for all those little rabbits? What do you think they'd like, Howdy Doody? Well, I don't know, Mr. Smith, but, but I guess everybody likes movies, and, and why don't we show a movie, and I'll bet you the rabbits... Good. Well, now, I'll tell you, kids, what Howdy Doody has in the scope to today. Another one of his Mickey McGuire movies. Do you like Mickey McGuire? All right, well, now, you just put your eyes over here on our Scope Doodle extension, and I'll get along and tell you the story. Now, as I said before, this is a story about little Mickey McGuire. And this is a new kind of an invention, kids. A new kind of invention. You ride a bicycle, and as you ride the bicycle, that makes a wheel go around, and that makes another wheel go around, and that makes another wheel go around, and that rocks the baby. And here it says, Mickey McGuire himself had one style of fighting. And that's to hit first, and then talk about it later. So here's tough guy McGuire, and now it says, Tomboy Taylor was Mickey's manager, and chief, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Who knows what a second is in a fight? Anybody know? Well, that's the one who helps. He's the one who helps the fighter. So now it says... <laughs> That's the kind of hat that I wore when I was selling newspapers before, isn't it? So now, kids, it says, Oh, Pop, Ma shouldn't dress me up like this, says this little boy. He says, Now stop squawking, look what she done to me. Should be, look what he did to me. Now, this fellow who's walking down the street, he is the boxing champion, kids. This man who... And here's a man who's grinding uh, scissors and things, and he rings the bell, and the champ, of course, 
Every time he hears the bell ring, he thinks it's time to fight. And he gets up and starts fighting like mad. So the little son, he, of course, he rings the bell so that the daddy will also stop. So he takes a little drink. And he's on his way. Now, this little fella here who's with the champ, he's also a pretty good fighter for a little fella. As they walk along, here's a couple of kids who have also started to fight. So Mickey McGuire stops the fight. And here comes Stinky Davis over here, who grabs a sucker out of another boy's mouth. He gets walloped down. Now, here's the champ. Now, the champ says, I'll tell you what you do. I'm gonna give each one of you fellas a nickel. He says, I want no fights. So they're walking down the street together, and that little fellow there with the glasses, if you notice, that's the champ's little boy. And now Stinky says, I'll bet you can't lick that fellow there. And look at that fellow, he can really fight. That's the champ's son, if you'll notice. He's had pretty good training. So, of course, the policeman comes. The policemen, they don't like fights, do they? No, that's and look, the poor policeman fell in the water. And so the champ's son, he looks like he's a pretty tough guy. Look, Mickey can't even hit him. So now we got another fella coming in here. And they agree that they're going to have a big, big fight. And so, kids, I just want you to know that Mickey McGuire and that champ's son are going to have a big, big fight. And we're going to play the rest of the night next show, okay? See, they got to go in training and they got to... Oh, dear, there goes our cuckoo. Well, I really believe that it's our cuckoo today because it's time to go. Kids, what do we do now? Who knows? It's holly duty time. Claire Ben, you get the balloon. Wave kids and thank you, Mrs. Bank, for the lovely rabbits. And so long, howdy doody. Okay, Mr. Smith, and, and so long, kids, and, and you'll be good kids, and you'll remember that portions of the howdy doody show are electrically transcribed. <laughs> <laughs>